In this video, we're gonna look into prompt caching. So what is prompt caching? Why do we do it? We do it for improved efficiency, cost savings, and of course, scalability. Now, what's the main idea behind it? Essentially, if you guys are familiar with the word caching from the computer science world or CPU design world, caching is about retrieving something or saving something that is often retrieved many times. And that's kind of the same idea, but then inside of the LLM world. So prompt caching reduces response times and costs by storing and reusing identical prompts, making repeated queries faster and more efficient. Now, I'm gonna explain a bit more about how it works and also give you guys some code, so please bear with me. Now, this is how it typically works. A user sends a prompt, the model or the systems around the model checks if ha there has been previous prompts that is related to this current prompt that the user asked and then checks if it exists or not. If it does not exist, it processes the prompt and then gives back the answer like it typically would. However, if the prompt has been done before or previously, it then checks if it exists and gives then the final response. Now, come back to the why. So how could this be possibly be useful in a real world scenarios? So think of it like a system where this is a customer support system where a person is asking or many people are asking the same type of questions to a system or LLM and then it gives the same type of answers all the time. Now, oftentimes it, this will actually require you to regenerate the same answers that have already been provided before to different users. Like for example, how do I file an insurance for something or how to report an insurance problem. Now, typically there are step-by-step -step guide on how to do it for a company and you would typically give out the same exact type of response that is step-by-step. -step. What if there was a more streamlined way of giving that answer and that it's not being generated from the ground up out of nowhere? And this is where this caching mechanism can be very, very useful. Now let's see some code example of the prompt caching using the Anthropy API. So the first thing you guys will need to do over here is install the Anthropy package and BS4, a beautiful soup. And then we're gonna use the Google Colab package to get our Anthropy API key, which is stored in this dashboard over here. By the way, you can actually get this Anthropy API key from the Anthropic console. And once you do that, we're gonna define a function or I've actually taken this code from a cookbook they've provided but they have a function over here called fetch article content. It's gonna get the content from this page over here. This is Pride and Prejudice ebook called the Project Gutenberg. And then it's gonna get all the contents over here. So the first 500 characters. And then we're gonna make a, first we're gonna make a non-cached API call. So sim it's a very simple API call, just like you typically would in Anthropic API. You pass in the text or the content, text, the book contents, and then you pass in type ephemeral. I'm not exactly sure what this means, to be honest. And then we're gonna pass in what is the title of this book, only output the title. And in the headers, you can pass in anthropic beta, prompt caching this specific date. And that's gonna make sure that, or it's gonna make an extra check whether or not this query has been, or this prompt has been done before. And then we can API call. And as we can see from here, I've already run this code already, and it takes around 20.63 seconds to make this entire endpoint call over here. Now, if we check the cached API, call. You have the same API call over here, the start time and the end time. And then you get around four seconds, even though it's the same exact question with the same content, you get around four seconds compared to the 20 seconds from before, which means it already saved up the information that we already prompted from the previous call that we made. And not only that, they've also provided the code for how to do turn-based prompt. So let's say for the first prompt that you asked, it takes around 23 seconds. The next one, it takes around eight seconds. And then the third one takes around eight seconds. So the time gets slower and, or lower and lower for the same type of prompt you make. Again, I will leave a description or I will leave a link to this specific notebook in the description down below. All right, guys, so that is prompt caching. I hope you found this video insightful. If you guys did, please feel free to subscribe. I make similar videos like these. All right, guys, I hope to see you in my next video. Have a nice day.